Hello and welcome to Jessie Bear Book Club Vlogs. Today we are talking about David Skarsky's Six Wives of Henry VIII docudrama, or documentary with some dramatizations going on. This came out in 2001 and like the previous documentary we talked about, I watched all of these on YouTube and they are actually all available on Channel 4 On Demand. 4 On Demand? Yes, that's what it's called. So you can still watch these for free and they are so good and they're based on this book, his book of the same name and it has some amazing acting and nobody in this is overly glammed up. They all look really realistic. I've got some great still images here to show you. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. I couldn't figure out how to put overlays in when I was editing my video so you're gonna have to make do with looking at my Kindle. But let's get all of them. The first two episodes Number one focuses on Catherine of Aragon. Catherine is played by Annabel Dower, who I am happy to say is half Spanish, and the Spanish in this episode is perfect. There is no bad, you know, like accents or anything. Perfect Spanish the whole way through. The documentary covers her marriage to Arthur, and there's quite a few scenes that were shot in Spain, which is pretty good, in the Granada. It also shows like how she really based her life on her mother's Catholic religion and you know how she was really convicted and the fact that she should be Queen of England. She was brought up from the age of three to believe it. And right at the end of this first episode, David Startsky states the opinion that he believes Catherine and Arthur had sex and that is not really what most historians think. It's actually quite subversive in the history community, especially the Tudor community. Most people take it for granted that Catherine was telling the truth, but I think it's very interesting that David starts, he goes the, goes the other way completely and thinks that no, she lied and she lied for a good reason, to save her marriage and to save her daughter's position, and I, I think that's commendable. Julia Marcin plays Anne Boleyn and she is very good and there is one quote right at the beginning of this second episode which I think is hilarious. Anne Boleyn was a remarkable woman, a woman who inspired a king to commit bigamy. Well, you know, he certainly has a way with words, David Starsky, but it focuses a lot on Anne's early life at the French court and the, you know, her sophistication, her fashionable tendencies to dress, the way she stood out in the English court. It also covers her brief romance with Henry Percy. It then covers, you know, the battle, the divorce. Everybody knows about the divorce. I don't have to go into it in detail. But what it does cover in detail is how quickly Anne fell from grace and how it really was cooked up by Thomas Cromwell and she probably didn't do anything. David Startsky also says Anne was definitely the most interesting of Henry's queens, if not the most beautiful. He must prefer blondes. And then we go on to the third episode, which stars Jane Seymour. Oh, look at that woman. She looks just like the way I've always imagined Jane Seymour to look. Jane Seymour is played by Charlotte Roach, and I think she looks just like Jane Seymour. That's the way I imagine Jane Seymour to look, you know, when I've been reading the Alice and Weir books. Just that. That is what is in my head, but you know, different hood. Gable hoods. We all know Jane Seymour preferred gable hoods. Third episode covers the pilgrimage of grace, the birth of Edward, then Jane's death, and Henry's deep mourning. But the best line in the whole thing is when he describes Henry's marital status as exiting hell and entering heaven. You know, killing his second wife and marrying his third. From the brunettes to the blondes. Anyway, moving on to the second part of the third episode, because after the first two, no queen gets a full episode to herself, mainly because they didn't last long enough. Oh, look at Jane Seymour there in her modest dress with her ladies in waiting. Yeah, anyway, the costume designs in this are amazing. And then we go on to Anne of Cleves. Anne of Cleves is played by Catherine Sings who is really nice and she's Irish and she loves dinosaurs. I found her Instagram and I actually reached out to her and asked her what it was like being on this show and she said it was brilliant and she loved the set designs and she said the costumes were amazing. The only little thing I have about her as Anne is I always imagine Anne as blonde 
and she's dark hair, but you know, that's just me being pernickety. But I thought it was lovely that she got back to me and he was telling me to be safe during COVID. Really lovely woman. So, you know, look her up on Instagram. She's a really cool Instagram, actually. She's like always going to museums and looking at dinosaurs. But maybe I just find that interesting. I forgot to say when recording this video because my camera was running out of battery and I was in a bit of a hurry. This episode covers in detail all of Anna of Cleophas' betrothal arrangements and the political scenario that drove Henry to marry her. It also covers Anne's very short marriage and quick divorce and how Henry was turned off by her large breasts and belly. Moving on to our fourth and final episode, it's all about Catherine Howard. The woman playing Catherine Howard is called Miss Michelle Abraham, but I don't think he looks, well, he's not the way I imagine Catherine Howard to look, but maybe that's because I always have Tasman Merchant from the Tudors stuck in my brain when I think of Catherine Howard, because I read The Other Berlin Girl, I watched The Tudors around the same time, so you know when an actor gets stuck in your head is who you think they are. But she's good, she's very small, like I think she's only like four foot eleven or five foot one, like around there, like she's tiny. And when you see her in it, it kind of makes you think about like how small and vulnerable she was. But she's good, it covers her affair with Francis Deerham and Henry Mannix. It doesn't really cover Thomas Culpepper. It's mentioned briefly at the end. It's more about Henry's love for her and how he showered her with gifts and how she kind of took it for granted. And you know, it's just about her really being a gold digger. David Starsky has a very simple view of Catherine Howard. She was young and horny and she was a gold digger, but you know, he's an old man with glasses whose parents were Quakers, so you know, that is just his opinion. Catherine Power is played by Caroline Lynette and it really focuses on her religious beliefs, how she married Henry because she thought God told her to, how she was a devout Protestant, how she studied alongside Henry's children, and brought his daughters back into the fold and had them reinstated in the succession. Kind of almost rushes through her a bit. It does cover, you know, her transgression where she might have gone to the tower for being overly radical, but you know, it doesn't go into great detail. And then after Henry's death, it covers her quick rush to marry Thomas Seymour. But that's it really. There isn't much about her in between that, just, you know, she was quite a radical religious reformist. It does cover her books, her two books, but it doesn't really go into much more depth, you know, as her as a person, like the first two do. Actually, the first three, I mean, it covers Jane Seymour in quite some depth as well in her religious background, but kind of rushes through the last three queens, but you can kind of almost forgive that because, you know, none of them were queen for that long. Which is a bit depressing to think about, isn't it? Look at them all there. Anyway, if you enjoyed this review, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Next week, we will be talking about David Startsky's Elizabeth, which came out in 2000, which I also want on DVD, because, you know, you can't get everything on streaming services. And I will see you next time for more Tudor David Startsky documentary reviews. Bye! <laughs>